Hello, my name is Poncella and welcome to my channel. This is the second episode for the final season of Queen Sugar. And this episode starts with Nova, Ralph Angel, and Micah reviewing some old VH tapes of christening of Nova and those when they were little. And the tape got jammed, but it didn't rip. So they're going to put it on digital. This is the house that Ref Angel inherited from his dad. Micah's in class and the professor shows them pictures and he's learning about NFTs. And he is really uh, interested in learning more about it. So he talks to his professor who uh, is guiding him the best that he can. Now, Hollywood said, the rumor on the street is, I heard that you asked Miss Sandy out. And he's like, I'm so glad, man, Prosper, you finally got the courage to do it. And so, like, thanks, Wood. Uh, Billy is tired, and she is not accepting calls from Vince. She runs into Parker, who tells her her name is Amani. And suggested that maybe she should answer that call or call Vince back herself. So they, said, they introduced themselves and said, nice meeting you. Uh, Hollywood decides that he is going to help Prosper by fixing up his men's club as a Jamaican uh, site. Since Prosper shared that's what... Um, Miss Sandy likes. Mo and Nova do go out. Nova, when Mo asks, does she have a significant other? She said, I do, but he is out of town right now. And so that basically is it for them. Now, Micah is staring at this portrait intensely. And his professor comes up. And he decides to share some of his work with his professor. And his professor takes a look and thinks that one of Kiki's friends could help him with the NFT. So he gave him the information. Va asks, I think his name is Juan, if he would help her with the menu for the Jamaican night that's going to happen at the Rio. Now Miss Parthena has help with uh, support, I guess we should say, with Darla and Billy talking to this Mr. Miller, letting him know that she did find, file an extension. And he tells her, I've known you for over 40 years and I don't have no extension on file for you. And if we don't get the $25,000 in 48 hours, we will close on your property. Darla sees this guy because he was sitting right next to that Mr. Miller. And he said, I can't talk freely here. He is very shady. But here's my information. Give me a call and I'll see what I can do to help you guys. So there's a meeting. And everybody's frustrated and angry at what they're trying to do to Miss Parthena. And they said that they would show their support. And of course... Ralph Angel said that if they gather everybody's settlement money and then possibly put a little bit more, maybe they'll have the $25,000 in 48 hours. So Michael swings by the uh, place where Kiki's friend is so he can learn about the NFT. Now this guy seems a little shady to me. Not in a bad way, but I think he may have find himself attracted I guess to Micah we'll have to see old man Sam is at the courthouse to support his daughter and Vive sees him and she tells him that you know what we always fight and we're not going to stop fighting and Parker had words with her and she said your mother would be so disappointed in you so disappointed and Parker still decides to be uh, disrespectful. And Vi let her know, I am not the one 
that you want to mess with. So they convene inside to state their case. And the council called Nova up first. And of course, she wants them to reconsider letting the land be turned to, I think, an amusement park by the Landry's. And then Parker gets up there and she fakes tears because I have ancestors who are buried there too. And my mother is from here. But this, this uh, city really needs... Um, Something that's gonna financially uplift for up you know for everybody. There's a knock at Micah's door and it is Kiki's friend who stops by and he takes a look at some of Micah's work. He even asked him on one of the pictures, he says, Is that your boyfriend? And Micah's like, No, just a friend. Uh, Nova and Billy are sitting in the back of the truck drinking 40s <laughs> like kids but they were reminisce about this was the only place that they could hang out and drink, smoke and cuss and do the normal things I guess teenagers would do Michael walks back in and everybody's clapping and he's wondering what's happened and Kiki's friend lets him know that one of his Photographs sold for ten thousand dollars, so everybody is celebrating that fact, and of course he's happy. Now Prosper has Miss Sandy close her eyes, and then he proceeds to assist her, and then when she opens her eye, it looks like what she's in Jamaica, man, and she is. Stunned, shocked, excited, and Vi and Hollywood come out with the menu. And for some reason, I can just only remember the jerk, I think it was jerk chicken. But anywho, they um, present them with their food and very bad accents, of course. And instead of being across from Sandy... Prosper decides to move his chair. He moves a little closer to her. And he says that he hopes that she likes what she sees. Because he couldn't afford to take her to Jamaica. But he hopes this will do. Rev Angel is with the baby. And Darla's watching him. Uh, watch the baby. And then she gets into the bed. And soon... As she gets into the bed, Ref Angel's phone goes off. And when his phone goes off, it's Prosper calling. And what happens is the Sheriff Department is at Miss Parthena's house. And they have put up the yellow tape stating that she has to get off the property. They did not receive her money. And they're just following orders. So basically, she's been evicted from her home and her land, and she's wondering and told Vi, what am I going to do? Where am I going to go? And Vi tells her not to worry. They'll take care of everything. And of course, our rough angel is highly upset, and he goes and hugs Miss Pathina.